What's up, everybody? DS the Drunk Heavy here again today, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to win domination regularly. It's pretty common knowledge for experienced players and corporations, but newer guys may not know just how easy this game mode is to win damn near every time you play it. Um, this gameplay is short because of how effective uh, smart teamwork is in this game mode and how effective it was in this game itself. And the gameplay kind of got really boring really fast, so I cut off like the last part of the game. Um, also, I'm running on my Kaldari Lodge alt, which is uh, DS training, and it only has like... 4 million SP, so I don't really have proto gear, didn't proto stomp or anything, so uh, yeah. First things first, you need to play domination with a squad of 4 or more if you're wanting to build a win streak, just like skirmish and arguably ambush as well. Uh, if you decide not to fill your squad, you're probably going to be at a major disadvantage if you run into squads on the opposing teams. Not only is squatting up better for winning, it also makes the games more entertaining to play. Um, if you redline people and you're by yourself, it's probably going to get really, really boring. At least if you have a squad, you can you know BS around with them. Um, playing as a squad also means you're going to have people watching your back and the objective, and you won't have to worry as much about having terrible blueberries, so it's like a no-brainer. One good squad can pretty much win a domination match on their own. Um, here are the fittings I use for domination games. Uh, my initial spawn fit is called Crazy Uplinks. On this fitting, I've put a R9 drop uplink, a uh, basic drop up link and a militia drop up link. Now that means when I get to the objective, I can drop four active drop up links. I also have a militia kinetic catalyzer and some basic shield extenders, as well as a toxin AR and M1 locust grenades. Um, it's my go to fitting for gaining control of an objective in either skirmish or dominations. The other fitting I use is my uplink injector fitting. Once I get my initial uplinks down, I'll head to a supply depot and switch to this fitting. It's more of a normal advanced logic fit with uh, advanced weaponry, equipment, and modules. Um, I have the injector because dominations come down to clones a lot if a team makes a comeback. And because uh, you can pick up people that get run over by LAVs, so LAVs are really ineffective. They just kind of piss you off. And when you first spawn into the game, I highly suggest at least four people in your squad, if not all six, spawn in with uplinks on a decently fast suit. Uh, depending on the map, you may need to coordinate LAVs to get you to the objectives. In this game, our MCC spawn was close to the objective, so uh, one of our players had like this Usain Bolt fitting, so he got to the objective just about as fast as I fell out of the MCC. Now, the initial capture of the objective is arguably the most important part of domination games. If you get the objective hacked first, the opponents will have to try to rehack it and cover the objective to make sure they finalize the hack. That's pro uh, that'll prove to be extremely difficult with my next point. Spam the hell out of your uplinks all around the objective at the beginning of the game. I like to spread mine out across the objective area, usually uh, two behind and two in front of the ob objective. That way, if the enemy makes a strong push, we can spawn behind, and if they fall back, we can keep pushing them by spawning in front of the objective. In this game, we easily held off their initial, pull, uh, their initial push for the objective, so we drove them back. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is identify choke points. In this game, the rocks were our main choke points between the MCC spawn and the objective. I moved up, dropped an uplink in a nano hive, and started firing away. Now this established a solid point for my rally, uh, my squad to rally around to keep the enemy from getting anywhere near the objective from the MCC. Now once we had an easy opportunity, we pushed ahead again for the next rock right at their red line. I again dropped the nano hive in an uplink and repeated exactly what we did before. Now, these opponents we had uh, really weren't all that great and I don't think they had any organized squad so this game isn't really indicative of every game of domination. There's going to be some games with good squads that involve scrappy fights at or around the objective the whole game. Regardless, these strategies still apply. Get to the objective first, maintain area control through uplink use, and push the opponent back. If you get complacent and stop pushing, the enemy could flank, drop their own batch of uplinks, and make a comeback. Keep your foot on their throats. I'll probably catch some flack for endorsing redlining, but having the enemy team redlined ensures the greatest odds of victory in domination. I play to win the game and be as efficient. Um, if I'm not getting into many CQC gunfights, I'm not dying much, which means I'm not losing ISK. If I'm not allowing the enemy out of the red line, they can't get to the objective. It's easy to get out of the red line, people just don't do it. If your team gets red line, call in an LAV at your spawn point and wait for two teammates to hop in it and drive as fast as you can to the other side of the map. And just, you know, spam your uplinks there. It's really not that difficult for how effective it can be. If you have four uplinks scattered behind the enemy, teammates can then spawn in with more uplinks and make the battlefield just kind of look like an uplink inf uh, infection. Players just don't do it. Uh, if you get redlined and choose to do nothing about it, that's all on you. 
Um, anyways, like I said before, this is just general knowledge. Most people probably already know. Um, I just got tired of playing in games with my heavy character and seeing no uplinks out. Uh, I don't have uplinks on that character at all, so it's kind of you know it's just kind of frustrating for me because there's literally nothing I can do about it. So do yourselves and your teammates a favor and spam your uplinks. Your war points per game are going to increase drastically. Your win loss ratio is going to increase, and you're probably going to have a lot more fun because you're going to be winning. That's all I have for this video. If you have any comments, suggestions, or just want to laugh at me if you're using a Kaldari Logi after the nerf, drop a comment in the comment section below. Feel free to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see y'all around.